Now, the next topic is the six months rule. Free your body and your mind. What is the six months rule, right? If you're learning to code and you've been here for six months, and you're like, oh man, I'm I'm jumping from free code cam, I'm jumping to uh, code academy, I'm jumping to plural, I'm jumping to Udemy, I'm jumping to the freaking service out there, then my rule from now on and this is for everybody and you should put this as, as the rule whatever you are doing you're doing it wrong okay it does not take you more than six months and that's at the tops you can do this at a month two months you could get your entry level job as a developer in a month i've seen it done right entry level okay if it takes you more then six months it means you have been doing it wrong it means you're not putting in the hours it means you're not doing the projects it means that you're jumping to whatever is trending you're not doing whatever you really need to be doing you're doing what you want okay so i want you guys to understand that if you've been doing this for more than six months and you've been learning on your own in your house there's a lot of you guys that have the skills that can be working but for whatever reason, y'all scared to go to the job interviews. Y'all not going to the job interviews. So for whatever reason, you really need to step it up, right? That's it. It's the six months mark, right? You start in January. You, you're not working as a developer. There's something wrong that you've been doing, right? Either you're trying to learn everything and you think like, oh man, I need to be a master of JavaScript. I need to be a master of PHP. I need to master all of this. You don't need to master shit. I'm telling you ahead of time. What you need is the right projects, the right resume, the right skills. You don't need to be a master of everything. Because when you're a master of everything, you are a master of none. You're a master of nothing. My advice is scrap everything that you've been doing. You either have two options. Try something completely different, right? That's one. Go to codingphase.com. That's if you want to. Or just really, if you got a job, if you got family, if you got a girlfriend, you got a kid, you got whatever, put them on hold. This is crunch time. If you already been six months learning how to code and you still haven't gotten to a level where you could go to a job interview and get the first job, then what you need to do is put everything on hold and just say, hey man, see the seventh month that I'm doing right now? It's not going past that. I'm getting a job at the end of this month, right? I'm getting my first client at the end of this month. I need to be getting paid for this. We're not building skills just to say we gotta build skills. I don't wanna, I don't want none of you guys to be like, I wanna be the smartest developer. I don't care about that. People could keep those titles and be like, hey man, I'm the smartest developer, I'm the greatest this, this, and that. But at the end of the day, that doesn't put money in your pocket. You have a skill. You have something that you've been working for. The only award that you're gonna get is money. Nobody's gonna come to you and give you, you know, we have what, 40 something, 50 something people in here. Nobody's gonna come in here and be like, uh, Jason or, uh, Dion or uh, Diane or uh, Ghost Goblin or, you know, it's like, we're not going to give you an award for being smart and being somebody, a very good developer in your house. We're going to clap for you when you're getting money. So the money comes in, you're still just a newbie. You got what I'm saying? So the money comes in, you're still just a nobody. And that's the reality of things. We cannot be here wasting our time, wasting our youth right in front of a computer just to be cool on reddit just to be cool on copen.io and be like hey guys look at my animations that i could do on copen nobody cares about that man you only live once so if at six months you still haven't gotten a job you still haven't gotten paid for the skills that that you're learning why are you here i know it sounds harsh but i have to tell it to you guys just like this Stop trying to learn every single thing that's out there. 
um, you know, I see people, you know, focus. I gotta learn service side rendering. I gotta do this and that. I gotta, guys, you could do all of that on your own time. But focus on the things that's gonna get you paid. Focus on the things that's gonna get you a job. Look on your area. I keep seeing people it's like, man, listen, man, there's, there's things that they do in San Francisco. You don't live in San Francisco, my dude. You get what I'm saying? Like, you don't live in San Francisco. You live in, in freaking Wyoming. You live in, in, in Tampa, Florida. You live in, in freaking uh, Norfolk, uh, Norfolk uh, Virginia, West Virginia. You live in, like, some small town. You live in, uh, in shanty town. You know what I'm saying? Why are you looking for what's popping in San Francisco? Why are you looking for what's popping in New York? Look what's popping in your area. You get what I'm saying? I want you guys to get paid. I don't want you guys to be here. You know, I don't want to waste none of you guys' time. I want every single one of you guys to start getting money, start getting paid. Like, we only live once. We don't need to be here trying to be cool on the internet. You get what I'm saying? Like, even when you come here to my YouTube channel, as soon as you come in and you watch one of my videos and you get the either the motivation that you need, either the information that you need it, either the uh, references, the resources, take that information and continue with your journey. Learning to code or building something that's going to get you a job. I'm telling you from experience, my first job took me a whole year and I always bring the story back. Right, because I was trying to learn everything under the sun. You know what? That year, <laughs> I wish I could go back into time and, and take back nine months out of that year and be like, "Hey, man, you could have been working already, kid." If I was to go like you know, the ghosts of uh, Christmas past just come through, be like, "Yo, Joe, kid, you could start working already. What are you doing? You get what I'm saying?" Like, that's what I'm trying to do over here, man, for you guys. I'm trying to help you guys out. You know, I don't want you guys wasting time. I don't want you guys, you know, being out here, you know, working a bullshit job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know them well. It's like, a lot of you guys know them well. You're in a position right now in life where you don't want to be there. And I'm telling you ahead of time that you could get out of there. I'm telling you ahead of time that you could be doing something good with, with your life, you know? We are only good. We are only going to be young for a certain amount of time. Man, you know how jealous I am about uh, this guy. I forgot his name. Um, this guy who him and his wife, basically, they work from the age of 18 to the age of like 28 as developers. By the time they were 29 years old, they retired with millions of dollars. Right now they could live their lives and chill. Do other stuff, open up businesses, do this and that. Personally, at that time, I wasn't ready. I didn't even know about this. I didn't know what was possible. You know what I'm saying? So if you have somebody like me who's telling you from the other side of the screen and telling you ahead of time, hey, you can do this. You don't need to be spending so much time trying to learn everything. Just go and get the job. This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit the website. It's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingFace.com. Keep it real. Keep it trill.